Oh crap, there was a save point there. Anyway. Hello everybody, welcome back. Scarlet Blaze. The struggle commences. It is the end of 1181. Two years have passed since the Officer's Academy closed its doors. Having ascended the throne of Adrestia, Edelgard has begun to enact sweeping change. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus now calls Dimitri its king, while Claude reigns over the Leicester Alliance. All three house leaders have found their wings as rulers of a new generation. With the whole of Fodlan still reeling from these rapid changes, Edelgard decides the time has come to usher in a new era. At least he got rid of her helmet. That really People awful of ram Bodlin, helmet. The Empire will stand by no longer. Together, we rise against a church that has become steeped in deception and corruption. The church has used their doctrine to deny you power and reshape Bodlin as they see fit. They thrust upon you the illusion of nobility in order to oppress who they choose. And they helped create the kingdom and alliance as a pretext for war. Finally, they teased you with the promise of salvation from pain they themselves inflicted and did so in the name of their own prophet. Well, I say no more. The empire has severed herself from their hypocrisy by restoring the Southern Church and nurturing her people's well-being. And today, we purge the world of their evil forever. We will retake Garigmach from the Central Church and stamp out any nobles who abet its depravity. By my title as Emperor Edelgard von Bresfeld of Adrestia, I hereby declare war against the false church of Saros. Well, here's the second part of the original game. Five The past chapters, two man. years have flown by in but the blink of an eye. And while they felt short, they were certainly eventful. The Empire has come far since we removed Arendelle from power. She's tiny. We reformed the government, remedied our diplomatic troubles, and bolstered our military. And most significantly, we gave strength to the Southern Church, creating the perfect wedge against the Church of Saros. A shame our bishop has become the target of relentless censure as a result, why the Central Church even targeted him for assassination. Poor Count Varley. It could not have happened to a finer man. And then there's the matter of Lord Arundel. What are he and his minions up to now? Slithering in the shadows of Fodlan, much as they have done for centuries. It will not be easy to drag such adept skulkers into the light. Perhaps not. Then for now, let's remain focused on the formidable adversary ahead. I've already been in like four battles. Did you call us here, Edelgard? It's good to see so many familiar faces. I did, and thank you for coming. This may be the first time I've seen all of you in the same room since the Officers Academy closed. Likely, yes. We have all been rather busy marching down the separate paths life laid out for us. Or most of us have, anyway. Others, such as myself, managed to eschew work in favor of a more leisurely existence. Hey! I was working hard at staying in my room, but still... Bernie. Father's been dreadfully busy, so he's never home. Which has been pretty nice, actually. I was returning home to Bridget. I finished my task, and now I have been returned here. Well enough. Now, as you know, the Empire will launch its attack on Garig Mach in the coming days. 
Emperor Edelgard will lead the invasion personally, and wishes for those present to form the backbone of her army. And as it has been some time since Adrestia had an army under the direct command of the Emperor, I fear we currently lack for officers. I trust each of you, and can think of no candidates better suited for the job. Will you do this for me? So you've got other plans for my father's army, I take it? Well then count me in. I'm ready to go whenever. I would have been happy with a life serving you here in the capital. But if war is coming, I want to see it through myself. I'll go wherever you go, your majesty. Sure, why not? I'm always ready. Plus, it's good to know I haven't been training this hard for nothing. I've high hopes for you, and trust you will prove the wisdom of my decision. Just you wait. I'm gonna hurdle clean over those high hopes and show you what I can really do. Be certain to save some of your hopes for me, because I most assuredly have what it takes to succeed. And with that... Shut up, Ferdinand. New Empire Army, move out! Ferdinand, kindly leave the commanding and naming to me. <laughs> Shut up, Ferdy. <sighs> okay, so... Am I in Chapter 4? I don't know. I think I have to start taking things carefully from here on out. It's rather nice, isn't it? Suppose it pays to be a commander. Hmm. You said it. Things are totally different here compared to the small-time outfits I used to run with. <laughs> I've got my own space where I can kick back and keep all my stuff in order. This probably means they expect a lot from you. More than your tall advice, I would imagine. Nice. That reminds me. This can't be something else. Did you see how many merchants we've got? How tiresome. Have you finished sightseeing yet? I believe I heard your employer calling for you. Okay. Mendola. Yuritsa. Fernanda is rejoined. Fernanda is rejoined. Casper is rejoined. Lindrod is rejoined. Some of the equipment. Records. The owl perch, huh? I have to figure what that is. Uh, after achieving victory in a certain number of battles, a messenger will appear on the perch. With each visit, will leave one feather. That's it. Thank you, Karen. I got it. I know what. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep them normal. I've got no renown. Cool. An award is available. Find this guy. Is there anything else? Okay. I see a weird shop look. 
It's like a potion bottle. Hey, Randolph. Lord Master. Here's where we keep track of all of the achievements you've completed. We got rewards ready to give out based on achievements racked up. Well, so you stop. how'd it go? Cool. And here we are. Oh, awards completed. So, one, I got one. Then again, 20, 30, 40, 50. Oh, this will be interesting. So, nullify all attacks and counter attack. I think I'm going to be at this a while. Results a good result. Strategic strategist. Wouldn't mind that. Ooh. Oh. So we're going this. begun at last our struggle to the death against the central church i pray your work these past two years will prove useful to our cause let me think. first you mean to conquer the territory of the alliance's viscount burgundy his minor lord east of garrick mock who is strongly influenced by the church wait a minute so let me think about it i'm gonna take a look around um, so in the original game, there is, there is a canonical, well, there's four canons, depending on which house you go to. One of them is siding with the church. So the Ashen Demon can join the church under Rhea. And I'm thinking this might end up being that. I haven't looked at anything at all about it. I'm just speculating. What am I even doing here? I just wanted to stay cooped up in the manor, especially now that father's gone. Actually. But then I was talking to Edelgard and boom, I got some stupid urge to fight and here I am. Sometimes you have to follow your heart, right? Just try not to die. Nope. Ugh, Bernie, you, you and your stupid heart. Oh, clear that up. <laughs> the gatekeeper. Ah, I like him. Nothing to report. Anyway, that reminds me. Uh, sure, I remember you, but why are you here? Actually, I was actually born in the Empire, so I ran away from home, joined up with the church when I was pretty young. Then the other day, I got a letter from my parents for the first time in years. They told me to hurry back to the Empire, and when I did, I found all this. Uh, I tell you, finding people from the church is going to be a hard pill to Got it. Time. Still, I am fortunate to end up... I didn't end up separated from my family. Hi, Heineman. Just looking around first. Where is everybody? Oh, here's the merchants. What can I do for you? Wait, if it isn't our steam general. If there is anything at all that you require, cool. 
What you got? What can I do for you? Oh, I can't buy anything yet. There's Petra, there's my girl. How are your feelings? That is all. I have been having many duties in my last two years away from the Empire, but they are all finished now, which means I am able to take part in the fighting. I am believing this battle will lead to peace and prosperity for Bridget. Hmm. Good to hear. I'm counting on you, Petra. You. You have eight up here. Oh, okay, what's this? This is my place. <laughs> War is such a human enterprise. In that sense, we are very much the same as those on the other side, but we cannot coexist, so we are determined to kill each other. I suppose that is the nature of the beast. Where is. Monica and Linhard. Not looking for them. Caspar. Not looking for him. There's Manuela. There you go. Well, hi. Well, if you're injured, let me know, and I'll see if I to heal. I'll see. Uh, let me know, and I'll see you healed up in no time. Oh, and I can take care of wounds of the heart as well as wounds of the body. Social injuries can be even worse than physical during times of war. That's reassuring you have to have you and your infirmary here. This is the infirmary, right? Mm. It is. After the closure of the officer's academy, Edelgard got in touch and asked me to run it. Although it does put me in an opposition with Garrick Mark, I simply cannot turn that woman down. Oh. I should really learn to say no sometimes. Did I miss where... Huh. Where is she? There she is. There's Dorothea. I've talked a lot with Edie. So I have long imagined what it might be like when it's like they finally came. But now here I am. I'm worried. Our target is Garrick Monk, which means we're likely to encounter a lot of people we know. Let's see. Yeah, it's hard to fight people you know. You sure want to take part in it? No way. I came here to fight. That's what I'm going to do. Cool. A moment. Welcome back. Let me appraise you of the plans going forward. What do you think? Take a look at this map. Our troops are preparing to advance from camp, which is located here. Our destination, Garrick Mach, is over here. Now the inter we in now the intervening noble territories have ties to the church. They are most certainly trying to stop us. You see? We have to route these lands in succession as we make our way to Garrick Mock. We cannot let our guard down without any of our with any of our opponents. Be sure to prepare as thoroughly as possible. Have you looked around the camp yet? Feel free to make use of the training grounds in the marketplace. If you would. I've made arrangements so you can improve your weapons and prepare for battle. Woohoo! Okay. Now I can go buy stuff. How do I... Oh, okay. Quick travel! You can change your mind and body and gain proficiency in new classes. 
It never hurts to be prepared. I'll, I'm sure I'll be seeing you often. Time to work you into shape. And because the required class is not mastered. See, that is her specific goal, those. Hubert. I think this is what I'm doing. Bernadetta and Petra is sure. Oh, it's that one person good. training another. Let's do it again. Nice. This will help me break new boundaries. That's good. I understand that now. Oh, look at that. I must make the most of this ability. Not that there's any point in me getting stronger. I work to grow. Time to work you into shape. Nice. Okay. So I guess it's nice. Another tool in the belt. This will be interesting. Hubert. Bishop or May. Mage, why not? Is done for the sake of power. Oop, Manuela. She's currently a priest. She can be a mage. I'll keep her a healer. Can't wait to see how Oop. you do. Oh, I take a gander of all the wondrous weapons. Welcome. It's all crap, really. Okay. 
I carry a little of everything here. Okay. Hope to see you again soon. Speak to the strategist? Okay. I already spoke to him earlier. Which battlefield are you headed to? Oh, this is how I go through. Okay. That's the main one I have to do. Dorothea, Edelgard, and myself. E2 join. Player 2? Okay. I think this here. Yeah, that's the Pegasus thing, so I'm gonna have her go that way. Good thing I'm going that way. You can use two player split screen during battle. Okay. You first hand. I have to focus. Take a breather. United, we are unbeatable. Oh, yeah. You. Here I go. No mistakes. They go must here. learn who they're up against. You. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Here. Begin. Ooh. You two tag team. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Watches over. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. I D. 
Two. Who we'll hope you'll make this fun? We can overcome any hardship, including this one. Okay, Edelgard has defeated that one. Oops. Here I go. No mistakes. I'll provide. I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough. How does that please you? Done and done. Cool, they're done. What's next? Oops. Switch control is still a pain the in the ass. The Sky Spirit won't leave this one to me. That's my cue. Brilliant fighting, but I will not be outdone. Beat him. Cool. Leave this one to me. Oh, we haven't done yet. Trouble. Treat is a vital strategy. See? I'm not so bad. Oh, we've got. 
got? Here. I've got how does that please you? Was actually a good one. Not as long as the last one, so I could probably do another one. War feeds my body. Okay. I won't let myself stop. Nice, Petra and Dorothea have mastered their thing. I work to grow. Only thorns left on this rose. Ooh, Venom Lance. That'll come in handy. Okay, so there's side quests of those three places. The Imperial Army has invaded Burgundy and will reach Garrick Mark within the month. With no way to stop their advance, we must ready ourselves for a siege. We sent the bulk of the knights away last month after the Western Church occupied one of our sacred sites. The forces that remain are thin at best. How are we to hold the monastery with such short-handed numbers? It is possible the Empire orchestrated that entire incident to bleed off our strength. Look at how thoroughly information about it was buried, and how quickly the Empire invaded after declaring war. It all feels carefully calculated. I would not put it past them. If they bring war to our doorstep, they will want us on the worst footing possible. If the tides turn against us, we may have to abandon Garrett Mock. Never! 
Edelgard is already using the Southern Church to erode our legitimacy. And now she has the gall to try and remove us by force? There can be no mercy for tyrants. So help me, I would like to put her entire army to the sword myself. Is it truly too late to prevent bloodshed, Lady Rhea? Edelgard must have her reasons for doing this. If so, they elude me. The woman seems to consider our church's very existence an abomination. Yet she has gone to the trouble of reviving the southern church, which implies she does not mean to destroy the faith outright. Perhaps Garrick Mark is the true prize she seeks. Or worse, this entire invasion could merely be a precursor to conquering all of Fodler. Hmm. Her purpose matters not. Our charge is to defend the monastery at all costs. I took an oath. I swore I would never again suffer the boots of thieves to sully this land. Rhea. It is a low form of comedy we find ourselves engaged in this day. To think the descendants of their empire will be the first to invade Garrick Mok. All the more reason to prevent it. I care not if we shared blood countless generations ago. I will not permit anyone to defile Mother's resting place. Okay, we got survey spots. Side quests. How do I survey? I must have missed that. Oh. Oh, nice. Okay. Truth be told, we don't have enough hands to help with the army. Army's less urgent Would you task. do something for me? We were asking around for volunteers, but it would really appreciate if you pitched in as well. Okay. Go and visit the chore master when you want to volunteer. So I'm assuming the chore master is side quests, right? Into this. The church has mobilized every one they can to defend Garrick Moss. Even some of the folks from Abyss, I think it's uh, it's called. It's, I hear the church doesn't really care for them, but I suppose any port in the storm and all that. Still, if you see some of them on the battlefield, it might be worth recruiting. Speaking of, I have an old report. On Abyss, if you want to take a look, just over there. Huh. What you get? Giddy weedy. Good day. Hope you're doing well. Um, as I am this day. <laughs> Seems you and I have both have appointed generals during the last two years. We will succeed. Well, let's fight it to our utmost and do not dishonor Her Majesty. Hello, my friend. My, my. It's been quite, quite. some time. Like Manuela, I was called here by Edelgard. 
But that said, I have been tasked with protecting the Great Bridge of Mirrodin along with Lad Ladislava. Please. As such, I won't be going to Garrick Mock. I hope you can take care of things. Okay. Oop, no, no, no. I need this. So I know who the Ashen Wolves are. Or the Grey Wolves. Yuri, Constance, Happy, and Balthus. Hopefully they make an appearance. I would love to get, um... Constance. Oh, hi. Looking for volunteers to help around the camp. We all need to chip in to make life here as pleasant as possible. So do I send everybody? two of you on the job I'm glad I'm paired with you Manuela so glad that I'm even excited to be working yes it reminds me of our days in the opera company but this time you finally get to see I can do more than just strut about the stage nice Cool. Yay! I see you finished everything. Thank, thanks so much. I bet you're tired after all the work. Why not take a break at the mess hall? Oh. In that case, allow me to accompany you. I'm feeling rather peckish myself. Oh, I hate you, Ferdinand. You have been a mercenary for quite some time, correct? Do you have any particular preferences? When it comes to company meals. Say, you usually make your own food. Hmm. Well, I usually make my own food, so. What? Fascinating. I absolutely must try one of your culinary creations. Worry not. The army has ingredients you can use. Okay. Well, it's right here, so let's figure it out. Because I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Cook a meal for an ally, huh? We provide food for everyone in the army here. Feel free to bring ingredients and make your own meals. Hunger is the true enemy. We'll get Bernadetta. I was looking at that plus two. Okay, and Edelgard. Love this stuff. I hope so. Oh, this is the best. Let's eat. 
How did you know I like this? Uh, yes, well, I admire people who show such consideration. Yep, I know about activity points. What's next? Impressive. I'm astounded that you cooked an extraordinary meal with those ingredients and using such humble tools. It would be a lovely gesture if you cooked for the others as well. Exchanging gifts with trusted friends is quite wonderful. Would you not agree? By the way, if I recall, you acquired some trinkets on the battlefield. Perhaps you could give them to someone as a gift. Hmm. That's true. Maybe I should give some to Adolf. Okay, give a gift to Edelgard. New support conversation available. Ah, there's the there's the talks. Can I help you? Here, have a feather. That's very kind of you. Oh, she loves those cool. You know, I don't believe I ever asked your feelings about this war. On the surface, it must seem as though we took Fodlin's fragile piece in our hand and shattered it into a thousand pieces. What? Is it deep conversation time now? Where'd that come from? It's merely that we've never discussed the matter, and you are in a fairly unique position amidst this all. I thought you might be able to provide some perspective on how an outsider views the actions Adrestia has taken. Ooh. Honestly, I think the whole thing's one big, ugly mess. I mean, look at how many innocent lives it's costing us. Still, I know this wasn't just some spur-of-the-moment decision. You gave it a lot of thought, and this was the best path you could find forward. So who really cares what little old me has to say? I suppose that's one way of looking at it. It's like you said, I'm in a unique position here. Meaning you would have answered differently were you not a mercenary. <laughs> uh, yeah. If I was a farmer, for example, I'd be hounding you day and night to end the war. Sure, you say you're gonna bring this bright and beautiful future, but am I really gonna suffer for years, maybe even decades, waiting for it? The stuff you're doing now, enlisting my farm hands, trampling my fields, destroying my crops, just doesn't make it worth the wait. But you know the toll it's taking on your people, yet you choose to press on with the war anyway. So you've got to have a good reason, right? Yes, of course. You certainly don't mince words. Nope. Is it the years of mercenary work that made you this way, or have you always been like this? Pretty sure it's who I am. It was just me and my mom growing up, you see. We lived in a village, but for whatever reason, she liked to keep to herself. So, I guess it rubbed off on me. I learned pretty quick not to get attached. Is that so? I would be interested to hear more. Trust me, it's not as interesting as it sounds. Who says it has to be? Interesting or not, I'll have you tell me one of these days. If you say so, just promise not to freak out when you realize how boring I am, okay? Do I seem like the type of person to freak out about such a thing? <sighs> Perhaps don't answer that. Nice. Oh, 
Oh, that should get me busy. Now we should head out to our next battle soon. Okay, so I want to look around now first. I apparently have... One... Time and two battles? Petra doesn't have one, Monica has one. Uh, let's go to the training ground. Yeah. Apparently I have... Time to work you into shape. What else we got? Priest or a mage? Get a mage. Guess I'll have to learn something new. Okay, Petrus and Miradon. Assassin route. A new challenge that will be overcome. Okay. What's up with Linhard? Icon. Huh. Train. Uh, who needs training in spears, I guess? Uh, Ferdinand. Let's do Yuritsa with says. Let's work two of them. Two of them. Honestly, that was kind of lousy. Hope this is good for something. Do it again. Easy. Yay, Bernie hey, has one. New power. All right. Hope this is good for something. Time to work you into shape. Go on, Archer. That's what she's good for. So, uh, how do I look? What are these icons? Can't wait to see how you do. Okay. So I'm gonna go speak to Edelgard real quick. Greetings. Hmm. 
that even if you do have reservations, do you need you to face this with everything you have? Let's see. Yeah. Hello. You seem dejected. I wonder if you have memories of this place. You'd rather keep one. No, it's more like... Look, this is going to be a fierce battle. Ugh. Yeah. I'm just hoping I can pull it off without piling corpses too high is all. <laughs> you play the role of a leader more than I anticipated. That's good. Yeah, have another one. That's very kind. Cool. Do you have anything for me? Well, how'd it go? Nope. Only have nineteen. Any results a good result. Okay, so let's go check out the chores real quick. Maybe I have one more to do. Care to make yourself useful? Yep, I have one more to do. Good documents. Petra and Bernie. Counting on you both. I will see it done speedily. Speedily, huh? And you need me for this? Are you sure? Nice. We all must do our fair share. I guess I have to go through all these. Birdie, you're up first. Look who has As it happens. Just between you and I, I have a, my share of worries in these past two years. As you know, my father found himself in a situ situation due to Edelgard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, things are what they are, and I will work tirelessly to achieve greatness. Uh huh? I'm not sure I follow. Yes? Oh, well, it's nothing for you to worry about. No matter what may occur, such business is not no more than my own personal something. Okay. Next. Hmm. It's annoying when you don't repose. You don't report in once you finish a task in heart. Very annoying. Furthermore, I have any number of things I need from you. Whenever you're not busy, it is pretty much always not happening. But I'm always busy, busy resting. Please leave me be. Oh. For Her Majesty asked me to put you to work. Cause that reminds me. Pretty sure I saw you sleeping the day away just a while ago, Linhard. Monica's right. It's time for you to pull your weight. Mm -hmm. See, Linhard, everyone's on to you. <sighs> you two will never understand me. If you say so, sir. Next. I'm hoping to see the Archbishop of Right Hand Man, Sereth, or the Thunder Catherine at Garrick Mock. Well? We've got tons of strong fighters, too, and I can't wait to take them all on. How about you? Let's see. Mercs are all about results. Pulling off the mission is the only thing that matters. Gotcha. Yeah, I guess it's one way to look at it. I mean, this is one fight you're... One fight's not going to decide the whole war, right? Okay, next. What? <sighs> you think it is strange to see me here after two years? Well, I was once an Imperial Commander. Hmm. Yeah, I figured as much. So, you've been fighting for the Empire all this time. Just like you did at the Battle of Inbar, right? Yes. Straight up. That's what I liked about him. Randolph. Oh, look Greetings. Who You're Seas, right? I'm Randolph von Bergles. Though we are not related by blood, I am no less Caspar's uncle. Right. 
I hear you know your way around the battlefield. I look forward to seeing what you can do in service of our grand emperor empire. Cool. Who's next? Uh, uh. All right, that's taken care of. What's that? What is it? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you need something? Can you? You can. As you can see, I'm pretty busy at the moment. Yes. See, my brother Randolph is also part of this army, so I have to do my job perfectly for his sake. And that's it. Let's head to the marketplace. See if there's any. Well, not the marketplace, the armory. That's armor. Is there a blacksmith? No? Okay. Welcome. Everything's iron. Come back soon. Set up this. Yes, I know about sacred weapons. Iron. Iron. Longbow. Give her the plus charm factor. You know what? Let's. Apparently, this is a thing. Gaspar's in the... Okay. Give me that. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here and do a few things and then I will head back. So I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Bye.